Hi, this is Rick, and you're in the Whiskey Zone, where we celebrate the spirit of the spirit. And today, we're going to explore an example of the growing American single malt whiskey category. It's the Rua Gold Label, from the great Wagon Road Distilling Company in Charlotte, North Carolina. Let me just start with a quick overview. The term single malt whiskey means that a spirit has to be created at one single distillery and that the liquid must be made from 100% malted barley. This definition is accepted around the world. Here in the US, bourbon whiskey is made under strict guidelines based on the regulations of the historic Bottled and Bond Act of 1897, but those requirements are different than a single malt whiskey, which doesn't have the same legal oversight. That's why there's a unified action taking place right now amongst distillers to create a set of standards and the official classification American Single Malt Whiskey with the TTB, which is the Tax and Trade Bureau of the Treasury. If you want to geek out on it, you can visit the American Single Malt Whiskey Commission online. Having that sort of official designation on the bottle labeling just makes it easier for consumers to know what they're buying, in my opinion. I wish them success. Now. On to the review. The name Rua is Irish Gaelic for redhead, which is a pleasant coincidence because my beautiful red-haired wife Catherine and I discovered this whiskey together. A special shout out to Catherine because she also happens to be my camera operator and director when we're on location. This whiskey, since it's a US product, that's whiskey with an E, has been bottled at 46% ABV and has been aged for 33 months in charred American white oak barrels. That puts it three months less than a Scotch or Irish or Canadian single malt whiskey, but long enough to develop its own distinctive flavor. It has been filtered using a paper filtration system, which they tell me is less invasive than chill filtering, and there's been no color or flavorings added. Off to a good start. That natural color is a lovely chestnut burnt amber, and it has decent moderate legs coming down the side of the glass. So let's start with the nose. Cherries. Raisins. Roses. Sweet brown sugar. A little vanilla. And maybe some butterscotch. So the nose has not been bad. Let's see if the taste keeps pace. I always ignore the first one. Movie theater caramel popcorn, which is a fun thing to find in a glass of whiskey. <laughs> hmm, slight cinnamon. Chocolate coated bonbons. Hmm, little uh, burnt coffee grounds. some malt, raw, freshly sliced fennel. And over-fermented tart cherries. Now, it may not actually need it, but I'm going to add a little water just to see. A little mellower, if that's possible. A little harsher, if that's possible. I like it better without the water. The finish is really not very long. It goes by quick. Multi black licorice and over marinated cherries. But this is a fine effort. It's got a pleasant nose, good color, and a taste that settles nicely on the tongue. It's not over the top distinctive, but it's an agreeable whiskey that's pretty satisfying to drink. I'm handing the Great Wagon Road Distilling Company Rua Gold Label, my first American single malt whiskey, a seven finger pour. I hope you found something of value in this review of the American single malt Rua Gold Label. If you want more details in this review, as well as discovering a place with other fun whiskey stuff, please visit thewhiskeyzone.com. And since you've made it this far, why not subscribe, like, comment, and share. So until next time, please, Drink smart, stay safe, and we'll see you again in the Whiskey Zone. 